Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Disciples 2. Brian is deep into enemy territory, so what we're going to do is we're going to send him even farther into enemy territory to see if we can find any good loot. Got a few tough parties. Well, not super tough, especially considering what we have, but it will take quite a bit of health out of some of my units. You know what? Let's just do it. We can handle it. And then we'll kill the Spearman. He'll be the biggest threat. Okay, that was pretty easy battle, actually. Let's see if we can deal with the other ones just as effectively. Yeah, the city might be a little more difficult, especially with the ranged units, but I think we could probably handle it. I'll just double check that we've got no other parties on the map, which we don't because they all got killed. We're not doing very well at holding anything on this map. We've had cities for a handful of turns and then lost them immediately. But we're not doing terribly. We've still got some resource points left. Right near our capital. And the mountain... Actually, we don't have any resource points. Never mind. I thought I still had that gold mine, but I guess I forgot about it being taken. So let's try to grab the city over here then. And take out this guy first. Hopefully Brian can finish him off before he attacks. Just like that. And now we can auto resolve and we can probably take the city immediately and that will operate as a base for us to heal from considering we still have quite a few parties to clear out and thank goodness for the poison immunity ooh thank goodness Ryan went before that last archer Otherwise, our shade would have died. Hmm. Now, it's a tough call here. I should kill the marksman. The death dragon should be able to handle it. It's only got 20 armor. Yeah, let's try to save our skeleton a bit. That should help. And then kill the thug. And then hopefully... Kill the archer in the back. So close. Maybe we can get the paralysis though. Or not. But death actually went first. So we're saved. Just barely. Shade got lucky that time around. And our experience levels are doing okay. Actually our death will gain another level very shortly. And Brian is getting really close as well, which is nice. Please, spare my life. I will tell you everything I know. Speak quickly, outlaw. I hope that what you know is enough to spare your pathetic life. Well, we were forced to fight you. Hubert de Lely, who is the Emperor's counselor, is trying to take over the Empire. He allied himself with a creature called the Bone Lord. This creature is almighty and immortal. He controls the undead and has many hordes of abominations under his command. Why did this so-called Bone Lord ally with Hubert de Lely? What is their purpose? Hubert has a mighty necromancer in his ranks named Airhog. She is the dark mistress behind an evil sect called the Occultists. They worship the undead. Airhog the necromancer will wait for you near the Bone Lord's tower. Be warned. This Bone Lord can control the undead at will. He may even possess your troops. 
I hope you speak the truth, thug. Flee before we kill you. Never cross our path again. Thank you. Why did we let him live? I have no idea. But we got some information out of him. We know that Air Hog is around. I'm not sure... It, this must have happened before the first Empire mission then. Although that doesn't really make sense, does it? Because the Empire mission took place before the Alliance happened between the Empire and the Mountain Clans. So unless this is a different Air Hog, or maybe she got resurrected somehow, I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out once we run into her. And she'll be just in front of the Bone Lord. So that should be fun. Those are a couple easy battles down there. So let's take them out. Well, we'll get attacked quite heavily first. Not a problem. And that one as well. Be really easy. Auto resolve. And then we'll get some treasure. And I think, what's our money at? Oh, I still need to save for those couple of structures though, so... I was going to hire a thief just to check out the tower there. But I really don't think it's worth it. I really need the money at the moment. If I had a couple extra gold mines, I might be able to afford it. But I've been slacking on killing the rod planters. And the mountain clans seem to be making a little bit of a return. The demons will probably deal with them quickly enough. Potion of healing and a life potion. And a wrath of god scroll. And a tree bark potion. Not bad. Some treasure over there which we will have to kill these guys to get. I think. Hmm. Yeah, our forces are a little bit weakened at the moment though. Let's, let's just go into the tower. Okay, this is actually really easy. Just a single paladin. He does have some heavy armor, but it is only a single paladin. Oh, and death gets another level, doing 120 damage now. Getting fairly close to another level with Brian. Take a little while yet. Extra 100 gold, perfect. Can't quite make it to the city, so we might as well just attack. Uh, take out the thug. And then just instant resolve. And get a little more. I think we're getting, what, 100 gold per turn? We need 3,000 gold to build the structure for the Phantom Warriors. Yeah, this is going to take a while. I don't know if I still have anything left to sell. Probably not, though. Oh, and another thing I forgot to check was whether there was any treasure in the city itself that I just took. I often forget to check the vaults of cities. They almost never hold anything, but every once in a while you'll find something nice. So we'll check that after we kill the titan. I'll have to go all the way around for it. And what is my party? Yeah, we can handle this battle. But then I think we'll probably have to sit in the city for another turn. Just to get my skeleton a bit healed up. He's not looking too good at the moment. Hopefully we can save him some damage. No, we can't. That's alright, though. 
As long as we've still got death, we have nothing to worry about. Well, I do have a couple scrolls I can probably sell. And I've got a coin, some orbs. Yeah, it's okay. We can make some money by selling our items. And at least we are getting some mana. Mana. I uh, don't think we'll have any use for it. Because I don't even have the magic tower built yet. But we can build up a nice backlog. So that when we do finally get around to researching some spells. We'll have plenty to spend. Yeah, the mountain clans actually have a fair few number of parties. That was like the most awkward phrase I've ever said, but they do have quite a number of parties. They've got a couple of rod planters and a couple of other units just sailing out from their capital, which I assume is right up here. Yeah, there's not much space left up there, actually. They're kind of boxed in a bit. Yeah, I think what we'll have to do on this turn is just sort of waste quite a number of movement points, actually. Just to heal up a little bit. We won't be able to handle these parties otherwise. So we'll do that. And then hopefully just one turn will be enough. I don't want to have to spend gold on healing my units. If I can help it. We could always temporarily leave the shade in the city because, I don't know, she's not necessary for these battles. We can probably handle it with, honestly, just Brian and the death. But, hmm, well, that's not typical actually. The computer doesn't often throw units away like that. But it's one less thing we have to worry about later, so I'm fine with it. Well, we got decent health though. So let's see. Yeah, if it was just Brian and Death, I think we'd be just fine with every single one of these battles. Sure, our skeleton and our death dragon won't be getting experience. And in fact, not everyone will fit in the city. So... Hmm. Okay. That's probably the best way to do it. The archer should still attack Brian. And the people in the front row won't be able to attack at all. Let's see. Yep, they attack Brian. So nothing to worry about at all. So I can take that party out. I can probably take this party out. You are trespassing in Shadow Wolf lands. Leave or perish. No thanks. I would prefer to have that treasure that you're hiding. Instant resolve that one. No one took any damage. And the same thing should happen for the next battle as well. And then we can get back to the city, get our units back, and start rampaging again. With that spell, they're probably going to run away and not take that city. Which is unfortunate because the legions own too much at the moment. I'd rather have it be a bit more balanced between the two.
Hmm. Yeah, there's going to be a lot to deal with when I go back up to this area. But as long as they continue fighting each other, it won't be as bad as if there was only one enemy race. So I think we'll be alright. But for now, we will end the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.